Hello and welcome back to Simply Gregster EV. Normally on this channel, we like to feature the positives, the benefits, and just the fun of driving EVs. But unfortunately, sometimes we do have to make videos like this about a concerning and potentially serious problem with the Mini Cooper Electric ranging from 2020 to 2024. Now, this is my Mini Cooper Electric, and I'm going to explain what the problem is with it and why it could be a potential fire hazard. Stay tuned. So this is my Mini Cooper S Electric. We've had it for roughly two years already. There's about 20,000 kilometers on it. Now, back in May, there were these rumors and there was a recall issued that affected 128 cars in the United States. And the reason it is my understanding what happened was two cars there suffered a thermal event. I believe it was one in the United States and one in Germany. Now, thermal event for BMW corporate literature is basically a severe fire. This is a term that they use not to have the word fire out there or massive incident. And primarily at that time, it was affecting 128 cars. Now, the actual problem was, my understanding was, the battery pack on this car, it's in two pieces. The two battery cases are in two pieces and they're glued together. So it was an issue with sealing the battery pack. And at that time, it was on the Mini Cooper internet forums that these cars were suffering from that problem. And it was basically water intrusion into the battery pack, in, into the cell modules. Now, I've been in the automotive industry for 20 years already. And whenever there's a bit of cars that do get recalled, it generally expands off into more units. And that's basically what has happened now. So this recall affects almost 2,600 cars here in Canada and about 12 to 13,000 cars in the United States. And what the recall basically states is that they recommend that you do not park your car in your house or near your house for it could for it could catch on fire now that's kind of a big issue because i remember the chevy volts were having this problem and it started off as a minor issue as it did with this car and it ended up being two replacement battery packs now bmw claims there is a fix you bring your car to the mini dealer and they will do a software update on it what that software update entails is they install a sort of fail safe where the BMS detects an issue with the cells or an issue with the pack itself. And it basically drains the, it, the battery pack, the high voltage battery pack down to 30% and it illuminates all the warning lights and you bring your car to the dealer. And I assume that you get a new battery pack at that point. This is, as I said, quite concerning because this is precisely why EVs are getting a bad reputation or the serious fire events and risk of fire. I never thought I would be having the, this problem on this car. BMW has been making EVs for a while now. BMW builds their own packs. So BMW builds this pack. <clears throat> it is arranged in a T-cell to fit in place of the gas tank and in the uh, exhaust tunnel. The battery, uh, cells are actually made by CATL, well-known Chinese battery manufacturer, and they're all assembled in Germany and then put in the car and that's your battery pack. And as I mentioned, there's already an issue with sealing the pack and that was the problem in the first place. So now BMW has issued a full recall of pretty much, I believe, all the cars here in Canada that they've sold and also all the cars in the United States. This is, not this is not affecting a particular model year, but basically a blanket coverage from 2020 up until 2024 model year, which was the final model year of the F56 Cooper S Electric. Uh, I've made my appointment already at the um, mini dealership. We'll be taking it there on September 10th. And until then, we'll be keeping the uh, car outside. I don't really have any other information at this time on the recall itself. I'm going to leave the links in the description to the uh, recall in the United States and in Canada. And it really says, do not park your car in your house. It may catch on fire. Um, I'm, I'm, as I've mentioned, I'm, I'm at a loss for words. I normally very excited to drive this car. And now it's kind of left it somewhat tainted 
because, well, if it's having this problem and they have this software update as their fail safe, well, that's not really fixing the problem in the first place. That's just a kind of a band-aid solution, most likely a cost-effective band-aid solution. In my opinion, in my expert opinion as a auto tech for nearly 20 years, it's my opinion that this car will be getting a replacement battery pack somewhere down the line. We're already into two years of ownership. This is a leased car. This is a car that we are planning on buying back. Um, I guess we'll have to take it uh, one step at a time in terms of, well, is the software update going to fix it? The software update just manages, I assume it's going to be looking for uh, some sort of management issue, a voltage spike, a voltage drop, temperature within the cells, and it will turn everything on, drain the battery down to 30% state of charge, and you bring it to your dealer. Uh, not a lot of information out there at the moment. I was actually surprised that our car was included in the recall, but as I said, that's what generally happens. It starts off with two, then three, and then it goes to 100, and then 128, and now it's up to the full almost 3,000 cars in Canada, actually 2,600 in Canada, about 12 to 13,000 in the United States. Um, but I think this is just the tip of the iceberg with a, with a battery problem on these cars. So until then, we'll be parking the car out in the driveway. We'll keep you informed as we go along. And of course, every time I want to come out and film, there's always a horrendous amount of noise and uh, traffic. So if you do own one of these cars, please, please go to mini.com, mini.ca. Check if your car is affected by the recall. I almost guarantee you it will be affected by, by this recall. Follow the recall properly. It says at the bottom, do not park inside until the software update has been completed. And as I've already said, I am not too sure that software update will fix the underlying issue if they're concerned about um, the two case halves being sealed properly. There are tests in place where you could pressurize the pack and look for a leak, but that requires taking it out of the car. Uh, I think we're going to end up at that point or replacement packs down the line, which is going to be months of waiting because they don't keep these in stock here and they probably don't really have any in stock. And given parts problems recently with manufacturers in my field, it could be quite a long time. I really hope this doesn't turn into an issue with the Chevy Bolt where they had these software restrictions in place and the batteries were having problems and you couldn't park your car at an indoor parking lot and all of this crazy nonsense. But it's stuff like this why EVs get a bad name and I can only imagine that the comment section on this video will be exploding to say soon. So we'll leave it at that. If you have one of these cars, check it out, follow it, call your dealer, make an appointment through the app. I made my appointment through the app. It's listed there. I'm going to list all the information for you in this video description. And again, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and well, welcome to all our new subscribers. So that's going to be it for now. We'll take it to the dealer and I'll do a, I'll do a, a video update on, I guess, September 12th or 13th when we get the car back from the uh, dealership. Just one thing I do want to say, originally the um, recall that affected the 128 cars, it seemed to be cars that were manufactured between a certain time and also cars that were sold in um, more humid or wet areas. Obviously here we live in uh, Montreal, Quebec, Canada, and there is quite a bit of uh, moisture around. It does rain quite a lot here, and there is also winter time. So there's a lot of heating and cooling cycles going on on the uh, battery, and that could also affect the um, adhesive that's used to close both packs together. Now, I'm just guessing that it has to do with the original recall in the first place, which I will leave a link to. And this is just a blanket, um, the, this is just a blank, blanket coverage over the entire cars where they want to see where they have enough data now and they want to see what happens and to see if they can stop it. Uh, I just want to add that in. As I f was driving away from filming, I said, oh no, I forgot to add that part in about the wet, humid um, climate area. So that's just something uh, to put out there. Again, I'll leave everything in the description below. So this is what we have to do. We have to park the car outside now. It's uh, sticking out quite a bit. It's far away from the house. It's uh, far away from the neighbor. The neighbor doesn't park their car outside ever. 
but uh, yeah this is what we have to do until we have the uh, recall done it's such a shame because I really love this car. This is an awesome car. It's so much fun to drive. It's really a hot hatch. And uh, I don't know, it's kind of soured. It, it's kind of soured it for me now. Maybe it's time to uh, get rid of it and to get a Tesla or something. So take care and we'll see you next time.